are turned in here tonight. That is what they will be. EA Sports. It's in the game. This is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things. From as close as you can get, he's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. To get us started with the official introductions, we go inside to the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. <laughs> First, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 147 pounds. Big. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fight. This fight gets underway, and he hates to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Right under the elbow, wide of the lane. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. One, two, punch by Lee. He loaded up there on that high kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, 
wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Good stick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Liver kick. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Able to land there with the straight left. Massive head kick. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Right hook to the head block. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just missed with the left there. Out of range with that one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, and now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. What a body kick. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Blocks that kick to the body. Just a slip there. Oh, big punch lands. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And they separate. 20 seconds left. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Final seconds. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round and very strategic. I expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, huge block! Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Both 
fighters exchange in the pocket here. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Identical twin, two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, but you see his opponent's head popping back every time it lands. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Real nice body kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, nice right hand. And he caught the kick. Big leg kick land. Just misses with the jab there. Big punch land. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Blocks the shot. Clean left punch followed by the right. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh, big left hook there. Wow, what a kick. And landed some nasty strikes. He went high on that one. Chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh! Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Big kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. strike there by Lee. He's oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. There's no tell on that leg kick. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. 15 seconds. Just misses there with the left. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, 
until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Beautiful kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Punches in punches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Checks that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and he caught the kick. And there comes the separation now. Nice defense on the single leg takedown. You can tell he's worked on that. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. How good is that right hand? Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. with a punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Now connects with a right. The right hand just misses. Three minutes to go. Slips the punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Big body kick lands. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a good right hand. And that's how you defend the double leg, ladies and gentlemen. Left hand punch from the clinch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Big kick land. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Beautiful body kick. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got a hurt bad. And they set him. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, may be able to finish this fight. They continue to exchange. Campbell's inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Oh, that's a big weapon for him, but the overhand right not there that time. He 
loaded up on that right hand, too. Great punch landing with so much power. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready? underway. His strong Ready? leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on the street right now. aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, that's a good strike there by Lee. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion of this fight. Johnny's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Got clipped with the right hand. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at the top. This fight's gonna be over this. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He mixed it up. He went high to the corner, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. And they separate. Oh, that kick is good by Lee. That slams the right hand. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going on. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Wow, what a fight. Oh, he might be out. Just over two minutes to go. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions, no loopy punches. He's going right to the target. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Single collar tie now. Big kick land. He throws the right hand there. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Lee's kick looked like it might have been a good one, but it gets blocked. Good punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Under a minute to go. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He lands and maybe time to 
to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Nice kick. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 42 seconds of round number four. We play the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by now. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.